go. Let's talk about industrial inspection. Today, uh, this kind of in, uh, industrial infrastructures needs to be inspected once every three years in order to find uh, some defects such as corrosion, wear on the shackles, or uh, cracked uh, insulator, for example. How do the uh, operating company carry out this inspection? Today, they use helicopters to carry out this, and it's very expensive. It's more than 8,000 euros a day in order to fly over the, uh, the, the electrical grid. And this generates more than 50,000 pictures just for 1,000 kilometers inspected. And just guess that there, is, there are more than 100,000 kilometers inspected each year uh, for the electrical French grid. So wh what is the solution, basically, to, uh, to, 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 to answer this problem? Drones, maybe. But today, there are still some problems with drones. Because I've ever tried to uh, fly uh, at 80 meters above ground around some complex structures, um, taking into account a complex environment, such as vegetation, uh, such as uh, electrical cables, building, etc., and wind uh, up to 40 kilometers per hour, for example, it's not easy at all. So, Sterlu has a solution to answer this problem. We provide Perception, that is a, a, a complex flight planning software in order to plan complex 3D flight around uh, industrial infrastructures. So you can provide uh, 3D obstacles, for example, uh, the, 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 the picture resolution you want to get, uh, the, the angle of the pictures. Uh, the, the, um, basically, you can do whatever you want with this tool in order to, uh, to plan your flight. Second point is when you have, uh, you still have thousands of pictures to analyze. How do you do these jobs? With uh, Curiosity. Curiosity is our deep learning platform in order to automatically analyze uh, defects on the industrial infrastructures. And with this, we build on the shoulders of the, 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 the big players such as Google, Facebook, Amazon, uh, to adapt and to, to build specific neural networks, uh, artificial intelligence, in order to, to do the job. And finally, once uh, every infrastructure, industrial infrastructures are inspected, analyzed with our algorithm, uh, we provide uh, a, a friendly user interface in order to look at the industrial inspection and to, uh, to, to monitor totally the, uh, the asset. So basically, what is the added value of the, of the Sterlus solution? Um, it's quite, there are four points. The first point is productivity. We can expect more than 40% rise in productivity. Uh, then exhaustivity. We guarantee that the uh, entire uh, infra industrial infrastructures uh, is taken into pictures, uh, flight after flight. Efficiency, due to automation, we just need one person in order to, um, to operate this solution. The payload uh, management and the flight are automatically managed. And fa finally, safety. Safety of the, uh, for, for the drones, for the people, and for the industrial infrastructures due to uh, automation. So, thank you very much for your attention, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm all yours for, for, for any question, question. Perfect timing. Thank you, Geoffrey. And maybe Remy and Philippe, you, you will have some questions. Yeah, maybe we'll first question. Uh, about your team, how many people are working in your team, and uh, uh, where are you at uh, on your uh, working plan? Yeah, sure. Um, so Sterlu is a, is a young startup. We, we are uh, one year and a half, and we are located in uh, Ecole des Mines de Nantes, uh, in Nantes. And we are eight people at the moment, and uh, three, uh, three co-founders uh, with data scientists, embedded system engineers, full stack developer, etc. Do you have pilots also? We, we have pilots uh, <laughs> for, 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 to demonstrate to customers, to prospect what we can do. We have pilots, but this, uh, this won't be our job in the future to, uh, to operate this uh, solution. What, what are your main problems, the main issues that you have to solve right now? Um, 
we, n n now our main uh, concern is to improve our solution, our prototype, to bring it to a, a product step, because um, we, we have raised um, almost every technological big issue at the moment. So now the big challenge is to, uh, to, to, to switch from prototype, functional prototype, to product for customers. Hi. Uh, I'm I have a few questions, practical questions. Um, how far can you go? Yeah, uh, today is the, the question is not really how far can you go, but how far regulation allow you to go? Uh, that's my second question. That's the second question. Um, so uh, with this kind of, uh, if you want to inspect electrical grid, for example, pylons, you can go with regulation under two kilograms uh, up to five to six kilo kilometers with this kind of machine, stationary flight machine. And if you want to go uh, with a uh, long flight distance, uh, aircraft kind the type, you can go up to 15 kilometers and come back. Um, so it's less than helicopters, but it's, yeah. but it's, uh, it's quite cheaper. So sure. you just need more time, but at the end, the job is done as well. So that's technical limitations. How about uh, civil authorities' regulation uh, as far as flying is concerned? But basically, today, yes, there is a battery, battery limitation to go up to uh, five kilometers with stationary flight or 15 kilometers with a long flight distance uh, and regulatory as well. Because if you want to, to get an uh, EVR drone, uh, you cannot go further than one kilometer. So, yeah, but, but today uh, it's possible to put this kind of system in production, and this is my message today. So. Okay, so I'm sorry, but we are running out of time. Okay, thank you so much, Geoffrey. Thank you very much.